Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Nemo Pack. How are you guys doing today? How's life? We're going to start today's episode by ghast hunting. I just want a few gas tears for a very small project today and we have two of them. Nice. Don't fire. Oh, it's an enderman. Okay. <laughs> I was scared. You know you can hear them, but... Oh, it's there. Hello. We have what we need. Let us go home. Oh, and by the way, some of you guys have been telling me that these guys drop place powder. Oh, yes, they do. Nice. So what is the plan for today? Today we want to focus on magic mods. I do understand that a lot of you are not a fan of magic mods, but you should remember that magic mods in every single mod pack improve your quality of life. And judging by the fact that I live in a jungle biome and I die 5 times per episode, my quality of life is garbage. The first thing on the list is attunement. And I think it was a very stupid idea to try and look for aquamarine in the night. Good morning, cubby. We also need a decent supply of marble, so you should start digging. Needless to say, he's going to be incredibly slow, so I'm going to help as well. Actually, at this rate, I don't think we needed the turtle. I'm going to be finished very soon. I have gathered everything that we need in order to craft the items, so let us get started. We want the attunement altar. Um, do I need more lenses? I think I need more. For the start, we also go with like 10 relays. He looks happy. Just in case, let us also get our telescope. Well, not the telescope, I meant the looking glass. Very cool. I do not think that we're going to have enough starlight in order to make the attunement altar. Yep. So maybe we need to make a few of these structures. Uh, it's not that expensive. Is one going to be enough? No. But I think two should be enough because I was just missing some lenses. Yes. Perfect. No? No. <laughs> okay, it fluctuates. We have missed our opportunity and have to wait until morning. I hate you. I really do. Well, it was not a total waste of time, at least I did manage to make the multi-block structure and I did manage to find a little bit more aquamarine. And I think if we want to do some attunement, we need more glass. Because I have like six of these relays left and I think Avitus requires a little bit more. Which, talking about Avitus, this is how you look like. Is that how you look like? Yes. There is also this very weird constellation which I don't remember its name, but I just remember the shape. And I was wrong. Oh, it's Armara. What did I do wrong? We are almost there. I think at midnight, we should be able to craft it. I'm slightly confused because last night, this was pretty close. And today, even with an extra one, it's not even close. See you tomorrow night. Hello, Cubby. Ladies and gentlemen, I have just discovered Divorcio, and it is the third night. And I'm hoping third time is the charm? No? Sometimes in life, you really don't have a choice. I had to move it. It's the next night. And let us hope that this time it's going to work. It's doing slightly better. Oh, you do know how to work. Good. So after a lot of attempts, which I have no idea why I had to do them, we can finally attune ourselves to Avitus. That should be enough. Did I miss one? Oh, it's not out tonight. You know, it's really not my day. Again, it is the next night, and thankfully, we have Avitus. Did I crash? So the crash was kind of my fault, we lost some of the relays. There was a conflict between one of the mods and attunement in Astral Sorcery which has been fixed in the recent update, and I forgot to update. But I have managed to attune myself to Avitus and we have some extra hearts. But here is the point, I also want to go to the end and fight the Ender Dragon. In this mod pack we do not have that many means of teleportation, so what we're going to do is that we're going to make a celestial gateway. I forgot my star metal. I also made some cutting tools and we should be able to get some stardust. So can you make me a celestial gateway? Good. Very good. And just before it turns into morning, let us get the second one. For those of you who don't know, a celestial gateway is basically a means of teleportation from astral sorcery and you need to make a multi-block structure for it. And if you place down the celestial gateway itself inside the multi-block and stand in it, you should see other celestial gateways. Obviously we do not have any other celestial gateways so we cannot see any options, but once we set it up in the end, we should be able to teleport. And this is going to be extremely useful for us because I don't have to walk to the nether fortress ever again. Well I have to do it once in order to install the gateway, but after that, no more walking. So let us get some decent food. We're out of lettuce, so maybe we go with kangaroo. We had a total of 45 ender pearls. And we do have a decent supply of blaze rods, which I'm going to use. And just out of curiosity, do we need your bread for anything? Yeah, maybe we need a bit. I have 20 golden apples. We take 10. And we also take our big helmet. You know, for a little bit of extra protection. Wish me luck. Thank you. So ladies and gentlemen, which way is it going to be? Oh, that way. 
Okay. Actually, before we go, let us take some blocks, repair my shovel, and maybe craft a little bit of TNT. I'm hoping it's not going to be that far away. I think we have arrived. Maybe it's just down here? Yes, it is. Nice. Very nice. This is the stronghold, right? Doesn't look like one. You know, it would be funny if I found a roguelike dungeon instead. Oh, we have statues. That's a very nice touch. I like the banners. Yeah, that is a very nice touch. I have no idea which mod does that. They even give you ores. Is there anything inside? I think we will just take the diamonds. We don't need the rest. And also maybe some of the obsidian. It does look really cool, but the problem is that there are so many dead ends. Whoever made this place did a marvelous job. Although I'm thinking maybe the portal is also down here. They also have a blacksmith. They want to make sure that you're geared up. Soulbound and mending. I'll take it. They even have an anvil. FYI, I'm still looking and I have not found the portal. The issue is that I should not have gotten excited and I should have dug further down. Which way is it? It's that way. If you're also playing this pack, bring a lot of torches and also more food. And it's also missing all the eyes. So ladies and gentlemen, see you in hell. Oh, the end looks weird. Talassium ore. Uh, we have a business to take care of. Let's kill the dragon first. So we all know that I'm terrible with the bow and this is why I did manage to bring some TNT so that we can blow them up. I'm going down. That was successful. For some reason, I could not get rid of this one. But I think we're good to go. Well, that actually took far longer than I hoped, but the whole purpose of today's episode is that we don't have to deal with garbage tools anymore. Also, I was looking at this better end mod and it seems very interesting. They have something which is equivalent of netherite and it looks nice. Of course, we are not going to do end exploration today, we're going to leave it for another episode, but there are a few things that I want from here. One of them is the dragon egg, and of course the other one is purple fire. No, I'm joking, I did set up our celestial gateway, let us go back home and bring a few stuff. Where is my home? Oh, there is my home. If you guys remember last episode, we did manage to automate the chromatic compound from create. On its own, it does not have that many uses, but we should be able to convert it into shadow steel and refine radiance. And the way that I have understood this is that if you want to get shadow steel, you need to drop this into the void. Bye bye. I hope you come back up. Oh, it did. Nice. Now you might notice that it has more uses. I also want to get into Psy today and in order to make the Ebony Psy Metal Cat assembly, you kind of need a Shadow Gem. You also need a stupid amount of Terra Steel, but we will manage those later on. But first things first, we need to fight the Wither. Twice. Judge me all you want, I have 60 levels on me and I'm not going to lose it. Actually this is my first time doing this so it could go horribly wrong. Does it? Please work. Yes! The other material that we can get from chromatic compound is called refined radiance, correct? Normally you should drop it inside the beacon light and it will be converted. But I had a small oversight. This is the recipe for a beacon. So we're going to solve our issue with glowstone. That should be enough, right? I think so. So this should work by absorbing glowstone, I think. Do you? Yes. It does work. The only question is that how much do you need? Do you show progress? Oh, it's not that much. Maximum 10. Don't you want to watch something exciting? No? Fine. Yes! We have it! So why did we go through all the trouble in order to get Shadow Steel and Refined Radiance? That is an incredibly valid question and the answer is, I wanted to make the Deforester from Create. We need to generate tons of mana using Endoflames until we reach the Alphine Portal. Then we will have other options, but for the moment, we need to burn charcoal. So I thought with the Scorching Heat enchantment, we should get a lot of charcoal. And that is true. So I should be able to generate a lot of mana and I should be able to get Terra Steel and eventually I should be able to make the Terra Shatterer as well as getting into Psy. However, I noticed a very small problem. The problem is not the Terra Steel itself or generating the mana, it's the plate. You need modes of magic from mana and artifice. Also, I do understand that we can automate the production of charcoal but I don't think anything is faster than this. Besides, this is a very temporary solution until we get to the Alphine Portal. Let us solve our current issue, Mode of Magic. It's nothing super complicated and we have already done this in all the mod 6, but basically, we need to advance to tier 2. 
which means out of the 10 tasks which have been listed over here, we just have to complete 8 of them. And I don't think that is going to take that much time, so let us get started. If you guys remember, we have already got the Codex Arcana from a village, but if we didn't find it, we could have bought it from a villager. I also made the Oculus so that we can complete the tasks. And the first thing that we're going to craft is going to be a Mana Weaver's Wand, which does not have a complicated recipe, so there you go. So you might notice that we have completed one of the tasks. We also did manage to find some mana weaving altars inside the village, but apparently we have to craft one. I don't really know why, but we shall comply. That is already 2 out of 8, and if we manage to make the inscription table, which the recipe has been tweaked a little bit, that will be 3. I had to get some infused wood, but here is the inscription table, which goes over here. And we also need to craft something at the mana weaving altar. I think the best thing that we can actually craft at the mana weaving altar is going to be the infused silk. Because we do need quite a bit of it anyways. And it's so easy to do. That should be another task. Perfect. And just in case, I'm going to make two more. So last night I learned something incredibly weird on my own Discord and I thought I should try it. I did manage to get fortune tree on the deforester and I have literally no charcoal on me. See what happens. We get three. Uh, well, it's fortune. This time we got only one. This time we got three. I should have done this earlier. Anyhow, we have completed 5 out of the 8, and if we manage to cast a cantrip, that will be 6 out of 8. And if you want to cast a cantrip, all you have to do is to hold your Mana Weaver's Wand, hold control, and right click. This is a cantrip. So it was 1 square, and 1 triangle. There you go. So if we just craft 1 spell, we should be done. But that is slightly more complicated because we need to craft a few stuff. One of them is going to be a rune forge. Can I have 3? Very good, very good. We put you over here. And there are a few things that we need to prepare. One of them is called Bone Ash, which is basically bones inside the Rune Forge. Uh, this place is getting cluttered. <laughs> we have to do something about it next episode. Mana Pool is also full, so maybe we should empty it? I used my ring in order to empty it once, but this time I had to use a Mana Tablet. And in the meantime, the Bone Ash is ready. We need to use some of that in order to make the Arcane Compound which we have to put it back inside the rune forge in order to get arcane ash. It's a 1 to 4 ratio, so we should be good. What we are trying to do is that we want to try and craft a spell with a complexity of 15 or more, and for that we're going to need 3 items. And you can see the list over here, one of them is ink, one of them is vellum, and one of them is arcane ash. And if I remember correctly, in order to get vellum, we just have to right click with leather in water, yes. The arcane ash is also ready. Uh, we need a little bit of purified vintium dust, which is not a complicated recipe recipe, and if we have glass bottles, we should be able to make the ink. Of course we are going to go with fire spells because I like fire. We go with touch and fire damage. That is a complexity of 15, and we can just craft it. <laughs> this is so nice. <laughs> it's writing it. We should have advanced to the next level, but I did craft it. I really don't know why it did not count, because this is a complexity of 15. It is perfectly fine, we need to cast it anyways. Yes, yes, that was my mistake. We inscribed the spell, now we need to craft it using the ritual of Arcano. We need a yellow glyph, red glyph, black glyph, orange glyph, feather, flint and steel, clay, vintium dust, superheated vintium, cubby, no, infused silk, and two foci. Of course, this is the ingredients for crafting the spell. For doing the ritual of Arcano, we need purified vintium dust and a chalk. Yes, this one. I don't really understand why the ritual has to be so huge, but uh, we need to mark it anyways. So it's a 3x3 three three in the center, and the rest should be easy. If I have not messed it up, this should be our ritual of Arcana, we add the spell, purified Vintium Dust, and it should tell us where to put the items. And thank you guys for letting me know that I can just right click and I don't have to find the item in my inventory. But in any case, that should be all the items, we just right click, and it should be activated. Me has to draw. That's it? Thank you. We have gained enough experience, we need to sleep. Yeah, you can't really sleep, but we have advanced to tier 2. And now that we are a tier 2 magician, we have unlocked the ritual of the forgotten lore, which will give us the mode of magic. We need to do this twice, right? Yes, twice. But it's not that expensive. But if I remember correctly, we also need like 10 bookshelves. Oh, we have plenty of books. Okay, cool. Does it have to be oak? I don't know. <laughs> I don't really know if spruce actually works or not, but we make it out of spruce. For now, I have stolen so many lecterns. I'm a horrible thief. Of all the items that we're missing, we're missing ink sacks. I wanted to make a ritual bag, but it's relatively expensive for us. So maybe we do this one manually. <laughs> I'm hoping that I have not messed it up. 
we shall know soon enough. You need more. You're not really telling me how much more. It does say 10. So spruce doesn't count. It is perfectly fine. I had to chop down some trees. So your holiness, here are your bookshelves made out of oak. The finest oak ever harvested by humans. Will you give me my moat? Yes, thank you. Oh, this is nice. I like the pattern. Ladies and gentlemen, our first moat. I just have to do this one more time and then we're done. I mean, we're done with mana and artifice, not done in general. I do not think that we're missing anything, so let us work towards the plate. Although making the plate itself is not going to be extremely cheap. Um, no, 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 don't do that. Don't do that. You go over there. Yes, as I was going to say, making the plate itself is not going to be extremely cheap. Because one of the items that we need is a block of mana diamonds. And if you guys remember, a mana diamond is basically a heart of diamond inside a mana pool. And each one of them is going to require a rune of mana. It's not hyper expensive, but you know, it's slightly painful. We have seven, that is the eight. We need one more. I think the mana cost of making a mana diamond has also been increased. So can we make all nine? Nope, it is perfectly fine. We do have a mana tablet for rainy days. I was hoping that the rainy day is going to be for making terra steel, but you know, and that is one block. I think the only thing remaining is that I have to make a rune of water, earth, air, and fire, and then we should be done. There is only one way to find out. Let us see. Yes, there you go, the terrestrial plate. So this is how much mana we need in order to make a mana diamond, correct? And the JEI tells me that this is how much mana I need in order to make one terra steel. I don't know, is it like one mana pool full? I really hope that it's not and it's still the same price, but we have to test it anyways. Also, we should not mess this up because if we mess it up, then we're going to lose all the mana. I am going to use my ring as well. Not all of it, we keep a little bit. I had to craft one more heart of diamonds because we need one mana diamond in order to make a terra steel. Although the question is, should we try it right now or should we wait until this one is full? I really don't know. Although I'm thinking if we make a few lenses, that will go slightly faster. So let us make, I don't know, two lenses for now. One of them is going to be potency and the other one velocity. And we're going to make a composite lens of potency and velocity. So will you help? A bit? Maybe? Yeah, maybe just a bit. After realizing that how expensive everything is in this mod pack, I thought we're not grinding fast enough. So I had to grind faster. The deforester that we have over here is amazing because it has portion 3 and also auto smelt, which is called scorching heat and it's from Astro Sorcery. So for some reason those two stack and you get tons of charcoal. Although the main problem with deforester is that it's not worth for me to repair it and it's going to break next time I use it. In order to get mending books I decided to get into enchantment from Astro Sorcery and try to make the stellar refraction table. The problem is if you want to make it you need to upgrade your altar to a celestial altar and in order to get the resonating gem, you're going to need the starlight infuser. So I did upgrade our altar, I did get the resonating gem, and I also made a collector crystal so that we can get star metal because we were consuming a lot. Also on the last day of my grinding, I actually got incredibly lucky and there was an eclipse. And if there is an eclipse, that means horologium is going to be in the night sky. And why is that important? It's because horologium is going to give us fortune tree, avitus, which is something that we are attuned to, is going to give us mending, and fornax is going to give us auto smelt. We have them all. And just in case you're wondering, no, villagers are not an option, I don't have emeralds. The soul enchanter from Eidolon is also amazing, but the problem is that, hello copy, <laughs> you cannot really control which type of enchantments you're going to get. So you will end up with something like this, which is no longer repairable. Anyhow, now that we are waiting for night time so that we can do some enchantments, let us see if we can make our first ingot of terror steel. Uh, do I have my magnet? Yes, please, please be enough. That is two mana pools. It's going to be enough. Okay, that is perfect. Yeah, the mana cost of Terra Steel has not been changed. That is perfect, it's half a mana pool. So can I make a Terra Shatterer? Yeah, I think we just need a lot of you. I need to wait for night time in order to do some enchantments, so maybe I should make the runes of mana? Cause I need three more Terra Steel and that's a lot. Oh, we're done, we have three, okay. 
and thankfully now that we have a collector crystal we can waste star metal i also have my ring and a mana tablet which probably we should use yeah maybe we can actually afford this uh we also use my ring we get mana later on anyways that should be enough i'm so happy I really don't have a place in mind at this very moment for astral sorcery so we're going to set them up here and we need to add the glass which goes over there and I also brought some parchments which goes underneath. Horologium is not here. Why? Do I have to wait another 36 days for it to resurface? There was another constellation which also gave you fortune. That is silk touch. Yes, it does seem that Horologium has to be in the night sky in order to use it on the refraction table, so the other one which gives us fortune is going to be Mineralis, which I just looted. I also need food. I know that Horologium is going to be much better, but I cannot wait 36 days. I want to get my Terra Shatterer as soon as possible, and I want fortune on it. Because if you have better tools, then you can grind faster. Well, we do have everything to make the Terra Shatterer anyways, and I just have to wait for night time and find Mineralis. Are you Mineralis? Yes. And since you're out tonight, we're going to abuse you. We can have a maximum of three? I don't know. Can I have more? No. Oh, you're infused. Okay. If that is the case, let us try this on a book. Just in case something goes wrong. Yes, it's being enchanted. Fortune... Fortune 1? I'm not going to lie to you, but when I saw Fortune 1 on the book, I kind of rage quit. At first, I thought I'm doing something wrong, so I infused another glass, but that was also Fortune 1. I thought maybe I should move it to an area which has a higher concentration of starlight. Maybe that will affect the fortune and I will get, I don't know, Fortune 3, but that also didn't help. But at the end of the day, it was not the worst idea ever because you just need four Fortune 1s in order to make a Fortune 3 and I have already done that. Also, we did manage to get Mending from Avitas and Scorching Heat from Fornax, so I did make a new Deforester and this one is very good. Because look at the amount of charcoal that we're getting. That was from four Spruce. And without the Deforester, generating a lot of mana would have been impossible for us and we could not have gotten Terra Steel anyways. So here is my question, am I doing something wrong? The constellation was in the night sky, I tried it at midnight, I tried them overlapping, and I tried them without overlapping, and I even made some combinations, but all the time I got Fortune 1. If you guys know how I can get Fortune 3 or Fortune 4 from a refraction table in 1.16, please let me know because I read the wiki, I read the book, and I'm out of ideas. But in any case, I did notice something very important in the perks tab of Astral Sorcery because I was branching off towards Evorsio so that I can mine faster. There is a node for plus one level of fortune. There is a necklace from Astral Sorcery which potentially can give us another level of fortune. And at the end of the day, I can have like fortune six. Anyways, those are not the important things. The important thing is that we have mana and eventually we're going to generate a lot of mana after we get the Alphine portal. And since the alternator is not the best thing in the world, I was thinking we use a mana flux field. And that should generate us a decent amount of RF. The problem is I can't really see it. Actually, that's not bad. Each burst is giving us 4000 RF. Oh, this is a voltmeter. You can see how much RF you have. So maybe that is an option that we can try next episode and get tons of steel. Anyway, guys, I think it's also a good time to wrap up the episode. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you enjoyed it. Till the next one. Bye bye.